Let me show you one of my favorite uh, flowers, uh, wildflowers. Here, take a look. Here, let's kind of get close in. This one has only got one on it, but uh, aren't they gnarly? Look at that. This is the, that's the flower. This is the prairie mimosa. And this one is about uh, three feet high. And it's not real thick, it's kind of thin. A number of uh, stems come out of a base. And here, take a look at this, just this gnarly seed pod. Isn't that cool? So it's got these, this is why I love uh, almost all the flowers here in the mimosa family just have this like very Dr. Seuss look, right? So I get asked all the time, you know, hey, what can I put in the shrub layer of a food forest? And this is going to be one of my go-tos if you can do it. And, and the prairie mimosa will grow in many regions of Texas, a lot of the Midwest, all the way up to like Minnesota. And it's, uh, it's leguminous, which means it, um, it fixes nitrogen in the soil. And it's also perennial, so it'll come, so it both produces lots of seeds and it will come back year after year. And so this is gonna be great. Now in the food forest, this, um, this prairie mimosa will eventually get shaded out and die. But in the meantime, you know, you can grow it, have really cool flowers. But also here's a cutting that I just pulled off. If you use it and you graze something like ornery sheep, like this ram right here, come here. All right, so you could actually even use it in your pasture. And is that tasty? Is that tasty? Oh, yeah, I bet you it's good, huh? Here, yeah, still got some. Yeah, oh, here. A little ornery. So, prey mimosa along with a number of other wildflowers are going to do well in your food forest uh, and your pasture systems. So go plant some. You, know, you can find it uh, relatively inexpensive. And if you see it on the side of the road, just go in the right time, pick off some of those seed clusters, the seed pods, dry them out. You'll get about four or five per per one pod. And each each seed cluster of pods probably has about 10 in there. So anyway, if you like this, subscribe. Make sure you like the video and plant some prairie mimosa. Bless you in the name of Jesus. I'll see you next time.